bought this 2013 Subaru Outback Limited to find out exactly what's changed. First up, Subaru made minor tweaks to the exterior styling. There's a new grille, new wheels, new trim, but only a diehard Subaru fan is really going to tell the difference. The same goes for under the hood. There's a new engine here. It's shared with the Subaru Forester. It makes the same 2.5 liters as before, but there's slightly more horsepower and Subaru claims better fuel economy. That better fuel economy is also helped by a redesigned continuously variable transmission, or CVT. Despite all the engine changes, the Outback is still pretty slow. There is a weight penalty that you pay for the standard all-wheel drive. The CVT can also cause the engine to rev fairly loudly. If you want more power, you can get a smooth six-cylinder. Subarus also tweaked the ride and handling. Our first impressions are that some of the float that the Outback used to have on the highway, well, that's tamed. But the steering feel didn't get a whole lot better. The car is easy to drive, but it's definitely not sporty. Inside, you'll find the same roomy interior. The Outback is quite spacious, with lots of rear seat and cargo room. There's a new navigation system and radio, but their interface could be better designed. The big news here is the availability of EyeSight, Subaru's comprehensive suite of electronic safety features. EyeSight includes technologies such as active cruise control, collision warning, and lane departure. It can also autonomously stop the car to avoid some low-speed accident. The system uses two rather prominently mounted cameras inside of the windshield. For now, Subaru is only offering EyeSight on top-level cars, but it will eventually trickle down. Our Outback Limited 4-cylinder stickered for nearly $35,000. It's a whole lot of money, and it pretty effectively retires Subaru's classic tagline of inexpensive and built to stay that way. We'll see how well the updated Outback does when we test it here at the Consumer Reports test track.